assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video and this time what we are going to be looking in uh, looking at is how to put uh, serial numbers in a list uh, that would be these guys here now you would be thinking why can't i just go one two three and you know all the way down there's a problem the problem is uh, first of all, this is the same file that we have used a few times earlier in different videos. Uh, and this is the sales ledger of a company that supplies products to pizza parlors and fast food restaurants in the New York area. And um, if I were to put a filter, and see, let me show you what happens. Now, say for example, I'm going to be looking at sales uh, that uh, took place in the year 2015 only. So I'm going to uncheck 2016, uncheck 2014, and uncheck 2013, and just leave 2015 checked. Okay. Click on OK. Now see what happened to the serial number: 4, 8, 9, 10, 12, 16, 17, 18, 27, 30, 31. It's jumping all over the place. What you want is a system that would. Uh, reconfigure and reassign uh, these uh, serial numbers so they are still in sync. Uh, just ignore my phone. I'm just gonna uh, put it on mute because otherwise it's, it's, it's going to keep uh, prompting us. There you go. Ah, so what we uh, want is a system that uh, would uh, reassign these uh, serial numbers. How we how would we do that? I'm just gonna take the filter off. We are going to be using a command called subtotal. Let me sh uh, show you. And the, uh, the, the couple of uh, interesting things about the subtotal command. First of all, it it's not one command. It's It can actually do a whole bunch of different things depending on the parameter that you pass to it. The first parameter is the function uh, number. So if you put one, it is uh, the cells that you select it will do an average for them if you do put a 2 it will count the, the cells that have numbers 3 with the have uh, letters in them minimum maximum product standard deviation average whole bunch of stuff uh, the second uh, good thing about the subtotal is it works on visible cells only so if you were to put a, uh, a filter and filter out some of the cells this function is good while it's taking the average while it's doing a count while it's doing a minimum maximum on average it's going to ignore the cells that have been filtered out so what we are going to do is we're going to be using this subtotal uh, command to actually uh, put in serial numbers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do count a and oops sorry uh, comma in the first row, uh, cell now, uh, this what this is saying is count uh, from B2 to B2, so, so just this cell that has uh, alphanumeric data in it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the first part of the range, lock the, uh, the row, and leave the second part of the range the way it is. Okay? And now I'm going to copy and paste this formula all the way down. So what it does is, for the first uh, entry, it says count from B2 to B2, where, where there's actually text in it, and there's only one, so put a one here. For the second, it says count from B2 to B3, because I have locked the first uh, row, This it, it stays as B2, it doesn't uh, increment, but the second part of it increments. So now here it says uh, count from B2 to B3, uh, cells that have text in them so that it counts these two and puts a two here it says count from b2 to b4 all the cells that have text so from b2 to b4 is three cells put a three here and so on and so forth now if i were to put a filter back again and i'm going to select the order date and I'm going to un and I, again I'm only going to be looking at 2015 so I'm going to select 2016 unselect uh, 2014 and unselect 2013 and just have 
2015 selected click on ok now you see the serial numbers are still in sync because over here it says count from B2 to B5 okay visible cells only so from B2 to B5 this is the only cell visible so it puts a 1 from B2 to B9 visible cells only so for it count from B2 to B9 visible cells only these are only two visible so it puts a 2 B2 to B10 visible cells only uh, so B2 to B10 these are only three cells that are visible so it's a three so whenever you put a uh, even if you put a filter the serial numbers stay in sync and that's the beauty of uh, one way of using uh, the subtotal uh, command so uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos like this please subscribe thank you